Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Good morning, Holy Spirit, for blessing all the work of our hands this day. Unchanging God, we adore you for a harvest of divine favor flowing through all our endeavors. Lord God, may set God's outpouring of divine favor permeate into the body of Christ for revival in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, as we serve the Lord and invest our time, talents, and treasure in His work, we ensure His favor on our life. The Word of God promises that only the giver is favored with God's blessings. For the Lord says, Prove me now herewith says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be a room enough to receive it. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10.
this blessing on givers is repeated over and over again in god's word jesus himself said give and it shall be given unto you good measure press down and shake it together and run it over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure that ye met withal it shall be measured to you again beloved it is important to sow favor it is important to sow kindness goodness and mercies in order to repeat in your own life God's favor can bring a lot of blessings upon you and your household through your obedience beloved and commitment for divine favor can bring a lot of blessings upon your handiwork as well as your finances Divine favor can produce supernatural promotion and increase as happened in the life of Joseph. In Genesis chapter 39 verse 21. Genesis 39 verse 2. Divine favor can bring restoration of everything the enemy has stolen. Remember, when the Israelites were in Egypt for 430 years, there was a restoration. And if you bring Anna in the midst of adversaries, Exodus chapter 11, verse 3, produce increased access. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 23. And I'm seeing increased access in a lot of millionaires and billionaires in America who have been faithful to God. Give greats and unusual victories would definitely rub against impossible odds. Joshua 6 20. Joshua 10 verse 9 and 20. Divine favor can give recognition and promotion even when you seem to the least likely want to receive it. Remember First Samuel chapter 16 verse 22. Nobody thought that David he was the least but he was the favored one. Divine favor produced prominence and preferential favor and kindness. Remember Esther chapter 5 verse 8. Such a time like this, Esther. Esther was reminded. And so he was able to go into the presence of the king. Even at the time but that she wasn't qualified because of God's favor on Queen Esther. Divine favor. Get petitions granted even by ungodly civil authority. Esther 5. At the end of the day, when Esther presented the petition before the king, the king accepted it. A 
pagan king. Divine favor changed rules, regulations, and even laws, if necessary, to your advantage. Esther 8 5. So it came to a time what Naaman, the evil plotter Naaman, had wanted it to come upon the Jews in Babylon. The Bible says God reversed it. It was the king who did it. A pagan king. Divine favor win battles. You did not even have to fight because God will fight them for you. Psalm 44 verse 3. He did it for David. But there is a price to be paid, beloved, in Christ. And that is righteousness. It comes through the new birth. And through continuing in total obedience to the word of God. Friends, favor is all about timing. And as a child of the Most High God, you qualify for an outpouring of divine favor and promotion. Your time for a harvest of divine favor is here. It's now. And like the light of God's glory shining on your life today, activate it with your faith. Process it with spirit obedience and declare my Time for supernatural favor. Divine favor has come. And celebrate and enjoy it with your household this day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. And thanks for listening. Be still, thus saith the Lord. And know that I am God. Thus saith the Spirit of God to you all. Be still. And know that I am God. That's seeth the Spirit of God to all of you. Amen and amen. And bye for now. Beloved, don't forget to contribute your quota towards the new studio project. Prayer Watch Temple 89 at gmail.com or on our zeal account 315-664-2827. You can donate any amount of your choice. May God richly bless you. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. May His favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children, and their children. On Zene, we were also, and 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 we were and your children, and your children. Children, may His favor be upon you and a thousand generations.